Shalom, Natal, Yahweh, like God, by Shemayim, by Hashem, and Mashiach, Yahweh, Shah. Ah, by Hashem, Mashiach. Giving all praise to Abba, now Yahweh, Allah, Hayaka, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. So I just want to go into a couple of precepts about uh this prophet that was supposed to be like Moses. So I want to get uh, Deuteronomy uh, chapter 18, verse 15. Uh, and guess what, bro? Moses seen Yahweh shot, bro. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. I got a mean precept that I didn't use one time, but we're going to bring it out. I got some. So, uh, Deuteronomy 18 15 says, Yahweh thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, like unto me. Like unto me. Unto him ye shall uh, hearken. Yeah. So, it's supposed to be a prophet like Moses and of course, it's going to be identifying marks to show that he was that prophet like Moses. Uh, uh, yeah. And you know, uh, like me, you know, it said it tells you that it's evident that Yahweh shot sprang from the tribe of Judah. So we know that he was of our brother. Let me go and get this. I'm going to get this uh, one. Uh, this is Acts chapter 3. I'm going to start at 22. Oh, yeah. I got another point on, I want to bring out. That's what I forgot. We don't, go ahead. Okay. It says, For Moses truly said unto the unto the, unto the fathers. Is that Acts 7 chapter? This chapter 3. Okay. I got 7 coming up, though. It said, A prophet shall. It's like it. A prophet shall. Yahweh, your power raised up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which shall not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. That's exactly what happened in 70 AD. All those scribes and Pharisees that didn't uh, receive the Messiah. They came and got destroyed by the Romans. Same dudes that was up there making covenant with the Romans. Uh -huh. Yeah, I wish I said in the Gospels, I don't know exactly the verse that, but except you believe, if you don't believe in me, you know what I'm saying, you're going to perish and die on your nipple. That's exactly what happened to them scribes and Pharisees. Uh -huh. Says, yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. You know what I'm saying? They tell you he come in a ball, you want a book. Which we, we don't get into that. We don't get that. Um, it says, it says, yea, and all of the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. It says, ye are the children of the prophets and of the company which the most high made with our father saying unto Abraham and in the and in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed unto you first the most high having raised up his son Yahweh Shai sent him to bless you and turning away every one of you from his iniquities. You know what I'm saying? We could get into we could get into it, man. You know what I'm saying? Like like he was saying that um how Moses sprinkled blood, you know what I'm saying? Because the scripture tells you in Hebrews, I believe, that there um cannot be a testament unless without they're blood. without the blood of a testator. Uh. You know what I'm saying? And that's why your house shot. That blood is blood. a contract. That's just like with these Illuminati demons, man. They took that concept from the truth, man. You know, when you make these contracts and these records, man, they want some blood, man. That's why some of these Illuminati sacrifices are wickedness. But uh, that's just what it is, man. And, you know, Yahweh, uh, clearly tell you Moses was a deliverer, which Yahweh shot is our deliverer. 
deliverer in this time, but at that time, Moses was, was uh, symbolic of a savior and a deliverer of the nation of Israel. You know, the book of Acts, number two, the seventh chapter. I don't know the exact verse, it might be like seven and so I want to be a savior and yeah. I'm no, not, no, no, I ain't talking yeah, about that. No, no. I'm talking about the Moses. Like, that one that one going in the hour shot. Where it takes like Moses was a deliverer. You know how it made him a deliverer. You know what? Yeah, because I don't have the scriptures in order like how uh, I always want to bring it out. How you know, uh, that's cool. you know what I'm saying? Find it. It should be Acts 7 chapter, it might be the 30th. Oh yeah, yeah, I got that. I was, I was trying to see something else real quick. Yes, um, X seven, uh, verse thirty-seven. I'll start that. Said, "This is that Moses which said unto the children of Israel, a prophet shall Yahweh thy power raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me." Him shall ye hear. This is he that was in the church in the wilderness with the angel which spake to him. Oh, no, 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 that no, ain't it. Look, I don't think that's this, Yeah, that's going into you know, Kind of Isaiah awesome. being, being back then. Right, kind of. That's what I was going to we talk about Moses. Let me see. It says Moses was a deliverer. Yeah, that was the point I was going to talk about. I was going to bring out. Yeah, it got to be like. Started like 32, is this in the 30s? So like, it's like 32, or it could be some on me at the cup, but the point is in like maybe 30 something, like five, but we just started like 30 or something. All right. <clears throat> um, Acts chapter 7, verse 30. And when 40 years were expired, there appeared to him. In the wilderness of Mount Sinai, an angel of Yahweh, a flame of fire in a bush. Then Moses saw it. So like when Moses saw it, he want, he wondered at the sight. And as he drew near to behold it, the voice of Yahweh came unto him, saying, I am the most high of thy fathers. The most high of Abraham, so like with the power of Abraham and the power of Isaac and the power of Jacob. Then Moses trembled and durst not behold. <laughs> says, Then said Yahweh to him, Put off thy shoes from thy feet, for the place where thou standest is holy ground. You got the, uh, what, what verse you at, bro? I'm at verse uh, about to be at 34. Okay, Say, I have seen, I have seen the affliction of my people, which is in Egypt. Yeah, and seen I, the affliction. And I have heard their groaning. See that he set up Moses to be a savior, man. Yahweh don't come down himself. And we're going to get that verse too in, 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 in Judges and Nehemiah, Lord willing. And I have come down to deliver them. And he said he came down. Did Yahweh literally come off his throne? Ah. Uh, Go ahead, bro. Hey, give me, give me Amos real quick. Hold that. Give me Amos. You can hold that. Give me Amos three and seven. Let's see what the what the scriptures say. Amos three and seven. Amos chapter three verse seven. Surely Yahweh thy power will do nothing. Wait a minute, brother. Yahweh's coming off his throne. Surely Yahweh thy power will do nothing, but revealeth his secrets. Unto his servants, the prophets. And with Moses was a prophet. Hamashiach Yahweh Shai is a prophet. Okay? And that's why Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, what do he say? There shall be uh, famines and earthquakes in diverse places. We just got the famine in Venezuela over there acting a the fool. Uh, you got all these earthquakes all throughout the earth. And he said there'll be rumors of wars, man. It's like, we're clearly seeing that he's, he's a true prophet because you're seeing all these rumors with North Korea and, and America. So, like, come on, man. Go ahead, bro. Uh -huh. It said Yahweh ain't gotta do nothing, man. That's why Yahweh created his angels, his messengers. They do the they they do the bidding of Yahweh. Right. Says I have seen I have seen the affliction of my people, which is in Egypt, and I have heard the groanings, and am come down to deliver them. And uh -huh. now come, I will send thee into Egypt. 
you know, did Yahweh come down out of out of out of the third heaven, brother? I thought the, is it the heaven? The heavens, the heavens can't even contain Yahweh. <laughs> <coughs> he's talking about he's setting up his he's setting up sabers. Go ahead. Said this Moses, whom they refused, saying, "Who made thee a ruler what, what, and a what? judge? A ruler and a judge." Said the same did the Most High send to be a ruler. And a deliverer. What was Moses? A ruler and a deliverer. Yeah. By the hands of the angel which appeared to him in the bush. Right. So Moses was a deliverer for the, for Israel, man. And then he goes on to tell you that that angel was Yahweh Shah. Huh. Huh. So it that's why the angel really, said the angel said he said I am who I am. Huh. And that's why when you read the Gospels, they said he said before Abraham was I am. Right, that's why he said I am that I am, because you know they don't that, want the glory. Yep, and that was the that was the angel. And it's deep, bro. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's deep, bro. Okay. <laughs> give me give me judges, brother. Oh, God, Can I get right judges there. up out of there, bro? That's why I say I am that I am. Yeah. Like, that wasn't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was saying he's I am, man. Like, like I am what I am. It don't matter. Yeah. What matter is the message. God, <laughs> you know God. what I'm saying? Yeah, new dude, dude, like, what's your name? Dude, dude, no, my name don't matter. They'll ask our names on the byways. Can I know your name? No. God, God, God. I was, sometimes you might tell a brother your name, but you know, I'll be at my, my name ain't important. Y'all need to get the name of the father and the son. You want to judge us? Try, try. Uh, let me see. It might be the second chapter. Because I, I don't got my Bible on me, y'all. Unless you got your blue letter Bible on you. On your book phone. Yeah, I could look, I could look it up right quick. Yeah, but I ain't bring my Bible, y'all. So I don't know where my uh, all the verses are that I wanted. Oh, man, brother. What's your name, local? I don't know. Uh, it talk about uh, how Yahweh raised up judges and, and saviors, and that's what Yahweh Shah mean. He is a savior. Yahweh saves. It's not Yah Yah's name in Joshua. Yahweh Shah. So all glory is going back to Yahweh for saving us by the way of saviors. Bro, I can't find your book is <laughs> different, brother. It's uh, judges. I can't find your judges. Okay, here we judges. It and says judges in, uh, 2 16 okay. and 2 18. Okay, you want to read those then? Uh -huh. Let me see if I can see what I can find on that thing, Baba Kusha. Uh -huh. Yep, yep, kind. Judges 2 and 16. Nevertheless, Yahweh raised up judges which delivered. What they do? Delivered them out of the hand of those that spoiled them. Ah. And to 18, I'll just keep, I'll keep reading through. Seven, verse 17, and yet they would not hearken unto their judges, but they went a whoring after other gods. And, said Israel was not hearkening to their judges. God, and bowed themselves unto them. They turned quickly out of the way which their fathers walked in. Turn not to the right or the left, brother. Come on, come on. <laughs> Obeying the commandments. It said, which their fathers walked in, obeying the commandments of Yahweh, but they did not so. And when Yahweh raised them up judges, then Yahweh was with the judge. And the wait, 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 oh, wait, wait, what? Yahweh was with the judge. Oh, man. Yahweh was with the judge. And what else? And delivered them out of the hand of their enemies. See that? So when we say, Baha Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai, we're honoring Yahweh, man. And it said, all the days of the judge. Because why? Yahweh was with the judge. So you can't say, I'm with Yahweh, then to hell with the judge. Uh -huh. You dudes is crazy. Is that it on that, brother? If not, you can get the one and give me Obadiah, or you can get me one in Nehemiah. Give me Obadiah 1 and 21 real quick. Well, no, give me give me Nehemiah 9 and 27. I don't want that one. Nehemiah. Yeah. Because what does what does Joshua mean? Hey, you got the concordance. Let's get Joshua too, man. Let's get the definition of Joshua after you get that, after you get that first. Wisdom is double. Wisdom so is double. Uh, demons uh, in trouble. One second with your brother. 
brother having technical difficulties over there. Also, uh, Yahweh Shai fasted 40 days like Moses. We could get that too, bro, if you want. Uh-huh. Uh, uh -huh. They acting too ghetto, too. You see him? He from up the fucking... It's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like, y'all. Uh, okay, Nehemiah, what? Nine and uh, 27, I believe it is. Nine and 27. Therefore, thou deliverest them into the hand of, my of their enemies yep. who vex them. And in the time of their trouble, he, they vexed them when they cried unto thee. When they cried to Yahweh, what happened? Thou heardest them from heaven. And what did he do? And according to thy manifold mercies, His manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors. What thou givest them? Saviors. And what else? Who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. Right. So when we say, even when you say Yahweh Shah, you're saying Yahweh saves, man. Con, con. You dudes, it's simple. That's, that's definitely. You're really simple, brother. That's definitely what that means. Okay. Yahweh Shah just means Yahweh saves. Because Glory go back to Yahweh. Because Yahweh Shah means save. Or it didn't mean deliverer. Con, con. To deliver. So he delivers. <laughs> so we're, yeah, we're, so. we're giving all praises to Yahweh, man, for the deliverance and savior. I got the word uh, Joshua. It says Yahweh is salvation. Okay, did that? We just read Yahweh set up deliverers. So when we say Yahweh Shai, we still acknowledging Yahweh. You're not even really, you know, what I'm saying that you're giving our glory. That's why he tell you I'm in the Father and the Father in me. And that's like when when you listen to the, the prophets that's going out prophesying today. You getting salvation through them because if they wasn't out here, you wouldn't know the correct way to follow after the father. He right. Give me over die one twenty one for what you just said. Cause like these brothers are uh pretty much saviors too. You know, you know we saving our people out the fire. It tell you in scripture one scripture says and some saving out of the fire. You know what I'm saying? And that's what we do when we hit these byways. We trying to deliver our people out that hellfire that's coming. Over die one twenty one. Yep, and you know, uh -huh. brothers, if it weren't for brothers going out and just doing these works, man, brothers wouldn't be delivered from, you know what I'm saying, the world. Which our glory goes to Yahweh all in all. And hey, let me read the definition of Joshua for these uh, simpletons one more time. It says, uh, Yahweh shout. Uh, yeah. It says, whose help salvation is Yahweh? Joshua. Yahweh is salvation, right? So if I say Baha Shem, Yahweh Shah, I'm saying in the name of Yahweh saves, man. Or in the name of the salvation of Yahweh. Which what? The salvation come back from Yahweh. Dudes don't see that though, man. You said over that what? One and twenty-one. You said what? Over that one and twenty-one. Okay. Obadiah 1 and 21 says, And saviors shall come up on Mount Zion to judge the Mount of Esau, and the kingdom shall be Yahweh's. Yep, so we're saviors too, man. I want to get the one. You want to get the one with Moses fasted for the day? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Because he said he was raised up a prophet like Moses. So. Yes, let's go. Read that one verse one more time in Deuteronomy, and I want you to go to this verse. You talking about yeah, yeah, 18, 18, 18. Yeah, prophet like, you know what I'm saying? We got probably said he was a prophet like Moses, and then we're going to read this. And, man, oh, man, I can't even got my scriptures. <laughs> God, what There's some you? scriptures coming in my head. The, uh, Deuteronomy 18? 18, 15. 
Deuteronomy 18 and 15 says, Yahweh of thy power will raise up unto thee a prophet from the midst of thee, of thy brethren, yep. like unto me. Yep, so he's going to be an Israelite. Unto him ye shall hearken. All right, so this dude, you, that, you know what I'm saying, that's going to come with these prophecies, you're going to hearken. And really, I mean, what end time prophecies is Joshua really talking about? Huh? Did Joshua bring any end time prophecies? <laughs> <laughs> huh? Uh, you got some? Oh, yeah, I'm looking real quick. Let me see. Something. Con, con, he gonna want. Um, Damn, Moses, really, man. It's talking about the prophet, like under Moses again. It's John 145. It says, Philip findeth Nathaniel and saith unto him, We have found him. <laughs> they found who? We have found him of whom Moses. Who? who? In the, of whom Moses. Uh. In the law and the prophets did write Yahawasha of Nazareth, son of Joseph. Con. See that? Who they wrote? They wrote about the Messiah in Deuteronomy. He's in Numbers. He's in Genesis. Okay. He's in Leviticus, but a lot of dudes don't, can't see that yet. <laughs> yeah, we're about to go there right now. Where you going, bro? Leviticus. That's in Leviticus. Child of God. It says. Let me see. No, no. Well, you want to get this real quick, Art? Because it's being what you got? What you got? Come on, what you got? Give me um numbers nine. I mean, sorry. Give me Deuteronomy nine and nine. Deuteronomy nine and nine. Deuteronomy 9 and 9. Man, Moses is mean, man. He said, Yahweh hearken unto me. Go ahead, though, bro. Say See that? <laughs> Yahweh hearken to him. So just like he hearkened to Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said, you ask anything through me. Yahweh answer you. Uh, uh. Say, when I was going up into the mount to receive the tables of stone, even the tablets of the covenant, which Yahweh made with you, then... I abode in the mount 40 days. So he was in the mountain 40 days, and what? 40 nights. And 40 nights. I neither did eat bread nor drink water. Mm. He did, what did he do? <laughs> neither did eat bread nor drink water. And what else? Said, and Yahweh delivered unto me two tables of stone written with the finger of the Most High, mm. and on them was written according to all the words which Yahweh spake with you in the mount out of the midst of fire in the day of the assembly. Con, con. So, yeah, that's the point, bro. He said he fasted 40 days and 40 nights. You, you got one? Yeah, I think I got one. It's already up in there. You got the cheat code, man. <laughs> I think I got one on top, man. Got the top. <laughs> 31. Let me see. Yeah, con, con. It's the one uh, from the law. Uh, Exodus 31, 18. And he gave unto Moses when he had made an end of communion with him upon the uh, upon Mount Sinai two tables of testimony, tables of stone written with the finger of the Most High. Is that it? Con, con. That it's that. one in uh, Exodus 24 and... Uh... 18. Uh, Exodus 24, 18. And Moses went into the midst of the cloud and gate him <clears throat> and gate him up into the mount. And Moses was in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. All right. Go to verse 28. You said verse 28 in the same chapter. You said Exodus 24 or 28? Oh, it's like 34 and 28. It's like, like <laughs> My bad. Right. 
It might be about to close for real. I don't know. But go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to lock that in a minute. Uh, Exodus 34, 28. And he was there with the with Yahweh 40 days and 40 nights. He did neither eat bread nor drink water. And he wrote upon the table upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. See that? 40 days and 40 nights? Uh, Give me uh Matthew fourth chapter, brother. Matthew chapter four. Because hey, we looking for that prophet like Moses, man. Which 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 one of the prophets fasted 40, 40 days and forty nights? Was it was it Joshua son of Nun? Was it Nehemiah? Did Ezra do it? How about uh Job? No. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, <laughs> you want chapter four? Kind, kind. Matthew start. four. Yeah. You want me to start at the top? You can start at the top, or you can jump to two. All right. Matthew four and two. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, I'm going to start at the top, it said, uh, Matthew 4 and 1, then was Jehovah Shah led up of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. He's hungry as ever, man. Because he fasted. So, come on, man. Uh, come y'all, so y'all know y'all, y'all playing games, man. <laughs> that's a point. <laughs> who, who fasted 40 days and 40 nights? Like, like who, who, what prophet did that? You can get Luke. This one in Luke 2, if you want. Luke 4 and 2. Say the same thing. You said Luke 4 and 2. Hamashiach uh, mean that just make any thought. Yeah, Luke four and two. Luke four and two, being forty days tempted of the devil, and in those days he did eat nothing, and when they were ended, he afterward hungered. See that? So Yahweh is the only person that fasted forty days. Uh -huh. Moses fast 40 days and 40 nights. So, uh, looking like the prophet like Moses to me. Okay. <laughs> hey, also, <coughs> let's, let's show what Moses said for the children of Israel. Give me uh, Exodus 32. All right. Exodus 32. And 32. I mean, yeah, I mean, you could read 31 if you want, but the point is, in uh, actually, it's 30. Hey, no, go to 32 and 30, bro. Let's see what Moses okay. said. My shot. Exodus 32 and 30. And it came to pass on the on the morrow saga that Moses said unto the people, "Ye have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up." Unto Yahweh. Oh uh, man, it's not he like on some mediator type stuff right here, bro. Uh, it's looking like an intercessor and mediator right here. You going to Yahweh? Uh, Go ahead. It says per adventure I shall make an atonement for your sins. So who who's only who doing that, bro? Uh, who's hey, making man. atonement for people's <laughs> sins, brother? Hey, they just choppy right there, <laughs> man. Oh wait a minute, it's some some more meat on that bone, brother. It's Remember, sick. Grandma said eat all the meat, brother. <laughs> Don't leave no meat on that bone. And Moses returned unto Yahweh and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin. Just like our people. Same same concept today. We sinned a great sin. And have made them gods of gold. Right? We, we was dealing with idolatry and uh, worshiping these false gods. Yet you know? now, if thou wilt forgive their sin. And, he said, if you, if you will forgive their sin, what? And if not. And if you don't want to forgive their sin, what else? Block me. What Moses say? Said block me. Moses said he would have died for the nation of Israel. I pray thee. I pray thee. Out of thy book, which thou hast written. Wow. So that's the point, bro. Yeah. Who else would have died for the nation of Israel? What other prophet would have did that? What other prophet would have said, block me out your book? Or atone for their sins, man. Like, you can't get past that. Ain't so all praises to Abba Nawa, Yahweh, Allah, man.
Fine. Shalom. Mashama Mashiach. Yahweh Shah.